Chris Dickinson's on the absolute run of his career right now. We heard earlier that Daisuke Sekimoto is going to be wrestling Eddie Kingston here at ICW New York on July 27th, just a few miles up the road at Foxwoods Resort Casino. It's going to be Chris Dickinson against Daisuke Sekimoto for Beyond Wrestling American Rana on Sunday, July 28th. Both of those events streaming right here at IWTV.live. And you don't think that Maria Manic is going to do anything to get in the way of the putrid papa here tonight. The show's called What's Beef? I guess here comes the beef. Because Maria Manic is a man eater. And she is ready to stand toe to toe with Chris Dickinson. Of course, the rumors have been swirling around Maria Manic over the past couple days. Who's to say, but hopefully right now, she's got her sights set on the task at hand. That's defeating the Dirty Daddy. ICW New York, they got balls pulling the trigger on a match like this. Somebody's bound to get hurt and hurt bad. Yeah, Larry, you better get out of the ring. This one is gonna get intense and hard hitting quickly. I always find the competitors like Chris Dickinson, like Maria Manic, particularly interesting because you can see their progress in terms of where they're at with, uh, you know, putting on muscle, cutting off, trying to be more sleek. Dickinson looks like he's dropped about 20, 25 pounds over the last month. And uh, Maria Manic may have beefed up. She's about as big as I've ever seen her. Incredible physique from Chris Dickinson, really in the prime of his career right now. And look at the focus from Maria Manic. She knows what she's in for. Well, Maria's won in this match for a very long time, but be careful what you wish for. Dickinson is not amused. Not impressed, Chris Dickinson, one bit. Oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, no. I don't know, Dickinson, usually one of the most popular competitors at these events here in New York. Maria Manic getting her fair share of cheers as well. And that looks like it's almost triggered Chris Dickinson. He looks like an absolute batshit insane psychopath right now. Look at him go. I mean, Dickens has had some of the craziest intergender matches of all time. His match with Addy Starr from CZW is over 114 million views. It was actually at WSU, and it was actually Beyond Wrestling Showcase, but nevertheless, a lot of parties involved. The most watched match probably in professional wrestling history. Chris not taking her lightly. Tough lockup. I mean, it was Chris Dickinson's match with Haley Hatred nearly 10 years ago that put Beyond Wrestling on the map, of course, streaming every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern on IWTV.live. Sends her off the ropes, looking for the shoulder block. No give from the Dirty Daddy. Yeah, and who could forget the infamous Pazuzu bomb to Kimberly as Maria Manic showing that she's cut from a different cloth standing her own against Dirty Dickinson. She's even gonna rattle on the ropes right here. Whips Chris in, whoa! Almost sent her out of the goddamn ring. That one definitely rang the bell of the man-eater. Dickinson missing wildly. He's gotta stay calm, he can't get in his own head. And Maria, to her credit, Oh. With a near flawless performance so far. But that was one mistake that really cost her. A reversal of the whip. And the back body drop, almost equal strengths Push shown between the these two competitors. 
Chris looking to gather himself. I don't know that either competitor is safe out there. Dickinson might be trying to set a trap. No, I don't even know that Dickinson saw it coming. That back body drop got the best of him. The short arm right into the guardrails as mandated by the state of the state of New York Athletic Commission as Dickinson's firing back. Just when she starts to get some offense going, uh, Chris just turns the table, thrown into the guardrail. Another chop. You know, this is the best thing about intergender wrestling. There should be no barriers, no double standards. I've heard that it was Chris Dickinson's match against Kimberly that cost him a spot in Ring of Honor. I'm just gonna throw that out there. I don't know, let, let, it, let it go out into the universe and, uh, and we'll see what comes of that. Maria back to her feet, big strike. Giving it right back to Chris. Yeah, I mean, Maria's one of a kind. She's got Dirty Daddy on the floor right now. Chris sucking wind out there. That's the thing, you can't back down, you can't show fear. Huge chair shot for Maria Manic. Because Dickinson could be like a shark and chum. Maria, 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 Maria. Oh, Maria Manic. With a little bit of taunt of her own. Trying to get Chris back into the ring. Look at him spring up to his feet. Misses with the baseball side drop kick. Oh. You could just hear the sound of that strike echoing off the walls here in Queens. What do we got here? Oh, Maria's gonna be careful. She caught herself. That would have been a bad landing all the way to the floor. Dickinson getting a little distance. Oh no. Got both arms wrapped around the waist. Oh, he could have broken her damn neck. And both competitors tumbling to the floor. Got every bit of that, DC. Dickinson's got the match in his favor. He's gonna get her back in the ring, but he might be looking to ditch out more punishment on the floor. Trying to get his wits about him. He's got Ma Manic back up to her feet, into the ring. Dickinson took too much time on the floor. Maria's still showing signs of life. Chris looking for a chair. There's one. Dickinson grabs a hold of it. Oh. And just cracks Maria Manic across the spine. She's done. Not that the toughness of Maria Manic was ever in question, but unbelievable to take a shot like that and get her shoulder up. Well, she started it, she hit, she hit him first. Very true. Chris looking to stay on her. That gut wrench. Yeah. Oh. oh, a full rotation inside out. Nasty gut wrench suplex. Dickinson's got a hold of the arm, dragging her away from the ropes. And Maria Manic. Oh. Going a little bit low. That should have been a disqualification, but we've already seen a lot of leeway in this one. Let's see it to a finish. Huge back elbow. Chris still, Chris still feeling the effects from that low blow. Maria created an opening for herself. She's got to capitalize here. She's taken so much punishment. She's just trying to find a way. Maria's in the corner. She's got the chair. 
situated right behind her. I'm not sure if that's part of her strategy. She Looks grabs like a hold it. of it now. He's gonna strike Dickinson in the head. Dickinson able to get the boot to the midsection. Sets up the chair. Maybe looking for a Death Valley driver. Oh! Stacked her at a very high angle. Maria's still kicking out. How? How? She's the man-eater. And tonight, she dines on beef. Dickinson, you gotta think at this point, is gonna be looking for the Pazuzu bomb. Maria just looking to survive at this point. Dickinson trying to get the chair out of the ring. And finally an official with some sense. Clearing the ring of all four objects. Back on her feet, standing toe to toe, trading shots with Chris Dickinson. Every single one of these shots a potential knockout blow. And the fans finally picking a side. Fully in favor of Maria Manic. Whoa! And Zaguri has her staggered. A reversal of the whip. Dickinson misses wildly. Taking over the backdrop driver. A release German suplex. And Dickinson on spaghetti legs. Taken down with a clothesline. Maria's taking too much time. She's letting the moment sink in. She's got to put Dickinson away right now. The crowd solely behind Maria Manic. What's she looking for? I don't know. That's a mistake, though. Dickinson's already down on the mat. Why would you bring him back up? Picks him up in a fireman's carry. Big Samoan drop. Only able to hook the inside leg. Not enough coverage on that pin attempt from Maria Manic. And this one is going the distance here. Hashtag ICW New York. A packed capacity crowd here in Queens. Man Eater versus Dirty Daddy. And so much still to come. Looking for another German suplex. This time Dickinson able to find a counter. Looking for a half Nelson suplex. Maria Manic puts on the break. She's trying to fight her way out. Rolls through. Shrugs him off with an arm drag. Got a little separation. Maria couldn't get up in time. She ate an into the Not able to kick out that time. Having to get over to the ropes. That just shows the ring awareness of Maria Manic, though. Yeah, but I think Maria's running on fumes right now. Looks like it. As Chris rolls to the outside, what is he looking for? Of course, Chris Dickinson, he's had some unbelievable matches against female competitors. He did come up short in the finals of Beyond Wrestling Treasure Hunt Tournament to Chris Statlander, who won an opportunity to challenge for the Independent Wrestling TV title at any time. She's gonna be cashing that in on May 26th at the Midwest Mixtape. Join us here on IWTV.live for that as Dickinson just waffling Maria Manic with a right to the temple. He's on the other side of the ring looking for more plunder. A door, a chair, a few more chairs. What does he have in mind? Your guess is as good as mine, but maybe it's not. My guess is, is, is maybe a Pazuzu bomb through the door. What yeah. would your guess have been? My guess is just anything to deliver as much damage as possible. Chris just choking her now. Referee's gonna get in there. This is gonna turn volatile in a hurry. Let's see just what Chris Dickinson has cooked up. Oh, Dickinson's plan about to backfire. This janky ass chair. He's got that door. 
two chairs set up. He's gonna make himself a makeshift table. And he's not setting it for Sunday supper. That's for damn sure. No rigatoni, no meatballs, just man-eater. Let's see if he's got that Pazuzu bomb in mind. No, instead, maybe a Death Valley driver. Maria slides off. Looking for one of her own. I mean, just the amount of perspiration building up on both athletes, it's so hard to get a hold of, of one of your opponents. It really takes some special strength this late in the match. Well, the filthy father is full of the special strength, and I think we're gonna see that right here. Looks Might be head. looking a superplexer all the way across the ring. I think he's gonna get to the top for that. I've seen Dickinson with jumping top rope superplexes. It's not out of his wheelhouse. Maria trying to fight her way out, slips free, looking for a power bomb. She's got him hooked. And Dickinson just got power bombed through the door. Was that it? Was that it? The ref is saying two. Not enough to put away the dirty daddy. What is it gonna take? I mean, that was Maria Manic's best opportunity to put this one away. She rolls to the floor. I have no idea what the hell is going on right now. Maria Manic is completely under the ring. It would not surprise me at this point to see the entire ring rise as Maria Manic bench presses it into the ceiling, crushing Chris Dickinson, and thereby picking up a victory. Doesn't seem out of the question. Oh, Maria finding a little bit of lumber of her own. Very telling sign though, Maria's mouth is open. That means she's breathing heavy. She's got it's now cool. or never for Maria Manic against Dirty Daddy. The power bomb through the door didn't do it. She's looking for something else. She props that door up in the corner. She's had tunnel vision a few times in this match, trying to get Chris Dickinson up on her shoulders. We saw her connect with the Samoan drop. She also likes to utilize an F5. Not sure that that's what she's gonna be looking for or that she can nail the Dirty Daddy with it from that position. But if not, I mean, even a Samoan drop in the corner at this point. Still standing toe to toe. Oh! Those chops look like they're bringing Chris back to life. Dickinson calling her on. Yeah, he's feeding off it. Oh, oh big strike. Maria was prepared for a chop. She got the kick. He's saying, hit me. Grabs for the choke. Look at these karate chops right to the back of the neck. Missing with the spinning chop. Maria's got him for the choke slam. Sandin Dickinson for the ride. One, two, three, oh! Somehow Chris got the shoulder out. She got all of that choke slam. Full extension, drove him almost through the mat. That door is just looming in the corner. Oh no, maybe looking for a power bomb again. Remember last time she landed on her feet. I don't know that she's strong enough to pick Dickinson up like that. Dickinson with the back body drop. Maria looking for that schoolboy rolling through. Dickinson now snatching onto that power bomb, muscling her up. Tremendous power from Chris Dickinson. Make it two. Oh boy. Oh yeah. He's looking for Pazuzu bomb. Oh! Killed her. Oh, 
Unbelievable. I gotta give it to Maria Manic. Dickinson's on the run of his career right now. I can't think of anybody that's taken it to him the way that she has here tonight. Hashtag ICW New York. She took him to the absolute limit. Did not quit. Stood toe to toe with Chris Dickinson. I mean, she power bombed him through a door. She choke slammed him. I don't think anybody stopped but Dickinson. Not on this no way. One. All roads lead to American Rana, though. Is that not right, DC? Chris Dickinson won the Lethal Lottery and the Beyond Battle Bowl for the right to pick his opponent at American Rana, and he chose Daisuke Sekimoto, another oh, broadcast boy. here on IWTV.live. And I think Dickinson's having maybe a little bit too much fun right now. Yes, sitting back, admiring his handiwork. Filthy father's out. And Maria Manic's still not up to her feet. We might need to get some officials out here. Listen to this crowd get behind her. Wow. Well, Maria Manic is a very elite level performer. A microphone. All right. I mean, Maria Manic is a competitor of few words. Let's hear what she's gonna say. Notorious 187. Ooh. Homicide swinging for the fences. KTV across the length of the ring. The veteran homicide slips into the ring, hits the cop right killer, right. and that is it. Wow. Oh my God, what's this? Not exactly what Homicide expected after picking up the win. Oh. 